it's one of the most inhospitable places on our planet. Temperatures range from minus 87 to 15 degrees. It's the windiest continent, less rainfall than the Sahara, with 70% of the world's fresh water frozen. So how do we study the Antarctic and all its secrets? Sail drone, an unmanned vehicle powered by wind and sun, which is able to collect a level of data that humans would find almost impossible to achieve. Sail drone takes measures in a number of important areas which give scientists the information they need in order to work out how our environment is changing. It uses echo sounding technology to find fish. This data is used alongside other information to determine whether the species is krill or not. Scientists are keen to use the sail drone to study the abundance of krill, one of the Antarctic's smallest creatures. The lowly krill averages only about 60 millimetres in length, but it represents a giant-sized link in the global food chain. These small, shrimp-like crustaceans are essentially the fuel that runs the engine of the Earth's marine ecosystems. Krill feed on phytoplankton, microscopic single-celled plants that drift near the ocean's surface and live off carbon dioxide and the sun's rays. They in turn are the main staple in the diets of literally hundreds of different animals from fish to birds to baleen whales. In reality, ecosystems are much more complex, with most organisms eating more than one food source and being eaten by numerous organisms too. As you can see from the Antarctic food web, krill is near the bottom of many food webs. Imagine the effect it would have on other organism populations if krill numbers reduced. This is called interdependence, where animals and plants within an ecosystem depend on each other to survive. Krill are considered to be a keystone species. That is a species that is so important to the ecosystem there would be a drastic consequence for the whole ecosystem if it was removed or massively reduced in population size. So why do scientists want to find out more about the population size of krill? Analysis of the acoustic data from the Antarctic will provide key data to examine the patterns of krill populations and mesopelagic fish. There's currently no data from the Antarctic that can be used to compare different regions. Researchers study krill populations and the direct and indirect relationships between marine predators, i.e. penguins and fur seals, and fisheries in Antarctica. They're looking to study the predator-prey relationship between the fur seals and penguins and their prey, which is primarily krill, in order to inform ecosystem-based fisheries management. Understanding these relationships is critical in areas where predators and fisheries compete for a shared resource such as krill. They've noticed an increase in fishing for krill. Because of improved fishing techniques, commercial fishing has become cheaper and demand has increased for krill-based products like omega-3 supplements. Scientists don't think krill is being overfished currently, but they do believe there has been a reduction in krill population by up to 80%. More data will help give scientists and decision makers a clearer picture. It may be inhospitable and remote, but it's an extremely fragile and delicate ecosystem. Collecting accurate, up-to-date data on krill populations, because it's a keystone species, is like checking the Antarctic's pulse. It's a viable way of checking up on the Antarctic habitats and how it copes with environmental impacts of increased fishing demands and climate change. Sail Drone provides an affordable, environmentally sound, manageable way to collect this vital data.